Hey everybody, Logic Bomb 82 here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Conan Exile server for Windows. First thing you need to do is download Steam CMD. I will put the link in the comment section to make it easier for everybody. You're going to want to download the Windows one because that's what we're doing today. And then you click the link right here to download it. I've already done this, so I don't need to do it again. But once you have it downloaded, you need to extract it into its a folder somewhere. I always create a Steam CMD folder just to make it easier. And then I extract it in there. And then you run it, because you won't see these files here until you run this. And it's going to download files, and you want to do a login anonymous. And then you, it'll download some more files right here. It'll take longer, and you'll see this start to fill up. And then you want to do an app underscore update. And you want the number for Conan Exiles, which is four zero. Nope, sorry, four four three zero three zero. And again, that's four four three zero three zero. You just hit enter, and it's going to download all the files for Conan Exiles. It's about thirteen gigabytes right now, so it took you know it'll take you a little bit depending on your internet speed. Once that's done, you just need to exit Steam CMD. One more thing though, if you need to update Conan Exiles, you just basically go through this exact same procedure. You just do an app update with the number and it will update all the files for you. And then once you have that all finished up, you're going to see this folder is filled up. You need to go into Steam Apps, Common, and then here, here's your Conan Exiles dedicated server. And then to start out, there'll be a start server.bat. So I renamed mine Conan server.bat, but I left everything else the same. Um, you can add things in here, but I thought it was easier just to do it with the files. So the first thing you're going to want to do is run this. One other thing before I forget, you do need to open some ports on your server's router, or uh, firewall I mean. The port you need to open is 27015. It says UDP. I always open both just to be safe. And the other one is 7777. So you have to have both those ports open for your server to be able to communicate. Okay, so once this is done running, basically, it'll, I think this is pretty much the last message you should get. And then you know it's it's fully been up to right here. This full startup will give you a second and seconds too. So you just hit Control C on the window, and then you'll see it shutting down. And once that's done, you need to go back up here and go to your Conan Sandbox. Saved. Config. Windows Server. And then your server settings is the first thing I would change. So you can edit with Notepad. I use Note++ because it makes everything easier to read. So you won't see quite all this here. I've added a couple settings because I was messing with it and figured some stuff out. So I added max nudity. Um, two is the full nudity, one is partial, and zero is no nudity. I added uh, clan size, which is how, long, how large a clan can be on your server. I, I made it eight because my server's only gonna support 32 people. And then server community, um, it starts at zero, and I forget which one that one is, but two is the the casual or relaxed, which is what I wanted my server to be at. So those are there. And then your server region down here, zero is the default, and that's Europe. If you set it to one, it's uh, the United States. And that's all I changed in here. And then there's a couple other settings you can change. In your game I and I, this is where you set your max players. So you need to add this little... Default will be this right here, the top one, Conan Sandbox, user ID. You need to add the script engine dot game session and then set your max players right there. And then the other one is in the engine. And you need to add this online subsystem of Steam. And then this allows you to name the server and put a password in for it. And anybody who wants to join my server, there's my password. You're more than welcome to join. I can host, like I said, I'm going to host a 32-man server. I have about eight people going to play with me right now, so we definitely have some room. Feel free to join. And once you have all that set, you are good to go. So you just need to go back and run your bat file. And you'll see it all load up, and you are good to go. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions, please uh, make a comment, and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. You can follow me on Twitch as LogicBomb82, 
and I also have a website, minecraftunion.com. I do game reviews. Uh, check me out. Thanks, everybody.